Here's the thing, when you are a mood reader and you go away for 12 days, on a 12 day trip, you have to come prepared for whatever mood <laughs> you are going to be in. And that is what I did. So basically these are the books that I brought with me for an 11 day book festival. And that's exactly what I did. So these are the books that I've brought with me to Hay Festival. I'm here for the whole thing. I'm so excited about it. Last year I came for a weekend, but this year I'm here for the whole damn festival and I'm so thrilled. I have very kindly been asked by Hay Festival to be one of their thinkers in residence. So thoughts of being thunk, <laughs> mostly for better words than thunk, words that actually exist would be good. But I'm here doing some backstage interviews, chatting to some of the guests at the book festival and also interviewing some people on the stage, which is going to be insane. So um, that is all to come. But while I'm here, these are the books that I brought with me and so I thought I would talk about them. Firstly, Young Mungo. I've been telling you guys I want to read this book for a very long time. I think it's about hypermasculinity, it's about living on a housing estate, it's about these two guys, and I read Douglas Stewart's other book, Shuggy Bane, which won the Booker Prize, and he's actually here at Hay doing a talk about Shuggy Bane with Dua Lipa. Dream combo, by the way, but I'm really excited to read his other book. Young Mongo, and I know that when I see him talk, I'm immediately gonna wanna read this. So I brought it with me. If the writing is anything like the writing in Shuggy Bane, his first novel, then I know this is gonna make me absolutely weep. And <laughs> you know what? That sounds good to me. Another author who is here at the festival who I absolutely cannot wait to see perform, speak live, and talk about their work is Caleb Azuma Nelson. Now, you guys know I am the number one fan of Open Water by Caleb, and so, and in fact, I know some of you are going to fight me for that title in the comment section, because I know some of you love that book too. I'm going to say number one YouTuber advocate <laughs> for Open Water, because I talk about that book on my channel constantly, um, and this is his second highly anticipated novel, Small Worlds, which I believe is all about music, and Peckham, and a father-son relationship, and family, um, and the changing bonds as you grow up, and the small worlds that we occupy. So this, I think, this is like a book I would predict. Both of these books are books I would predict. I will give five stars, so we will see. Next, I have Victory City by Salman Rushdie. Now, um, Salman Rushdie is not coming to Hay Festival, but Margaret Atwood, um, Douglas Stewart, and Elif Shafak are doing a panel book club about this book. So I would really, really love in an ideal world to have read it <laughs> by the time I go to the book club because I think that that's just gonna be such a fascinating talk hearing these absolute titans of the book industry um, and publishing talking about this book um, and dissecting it. And I'm yet to read anything by Salman Rushdie. That's a lie. That is a complete lie. I read Midnight's Children during my degree. I have actually read a Salman Rushdie book, but that was like, five years ago now, <laughs> so um, I need to read another one. I, so much so that I'd forgotten I'd even read a Salman Rushdie book before, and I had. Oh wait, I actually don't know what this one's about. I actually bought it pretty blindly, just based on the sheer fact that they were doing a book club on it. <laughs> so I actually don't know what this is about. The epic tale of a woman who breathes a fantastical empire into existence, only to be consumed by it over the centuries, from the transcendent imagination of Booker Prize winner, international best-selling author, Salman Rushdie. There we go. Oh, this book I brought with me, this is called Couplets. I actually read this on the train on the way here. So this is finished um, and it was magical. The writing is so gorgeous. I underlined so many of the beautiful lines. I'm thinking that I'm gonna give this five stars. Genuinely, I really liked it. It's by Maggie Milner. Did I say that it's called Couplets? That's what it's called. And it is about falling in love, falling out of love, realizing that your perception of a person maybe wasn't exactly what their relationship turned out to be, and uh, I just thought this was so wonderful and magical, and I adored it. You'll be hearing me talk about this book a lot. Another short one here, we have Shy by Max Porter. He is also speaking at the festival. Are you noticing a theme? I'm basically trying to read books written by people who are speaking at the festival so that it's even more immersive for me and so that I get incredible uh, extra insights into these pieces of fiction. So this is Shy by Max Porter. It is about a young boy, the story of a few strange hours in the life of a troubled teenage boy. Wandering, wandering into the night, listening to the voices in his head, his teachers, his parents, the people he has hurt, and the people who are trying to love him. I enjoyed Grief is the Thing with Feathers by Max Porter. So as soon as I saw it um, in a bookstore, I was like, I need that. 
I need that instantly. And then, okay, one author who is not at the festival. I am, ooh, how many pages into this book? 68 pages into this book. This is The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay. Um, I started reading it there and I brought it with me to finish. I mean, realistically, I'm not gonna finish all of these books. I just wanted to have them with me in case I, felt, you know, I had room in my suitcase, okay? And I just thought I want to bring these with me so that I can pick up whichever book is speaking to me <laughs> at the time. So um, I am part of the way through this book. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish it necessarily on this trip, but I will uh, maybe even on the train home afterwards. But um, this is The Great Believers and it is about um, the AIDS epidemic and how it hit Chicago. And we follow these two different narratives, two different stories. One is during the AIDS epidemic and it follows a couple and then one of the people in their close circle um, is then the other story um, and that takes place in like kind of like present day I think or like yeah 2015 so that story takes place in 2015 the other story takes place in 1985 but obviously same characters um, Chicago, Paris, so cool so that's The Great Believers and I've been recommended this so many times and people said, if you like a book that will make you cry, you should read this. And <laughs> so I said, sign me up. And then finally, Natalie Haynes is also here at Hay Festival. I didn't actually realize that she's a comedian. I first heard of this book because it was long listed for the Women's Prize, but I know that Natalie Haynes has written a series of Greek mythological retellings. This is Stoneblind and this is the story of Medusa. Haynes is the nation's great muse, says Adam Rutherford. This is a Sunday Times bestseller and I am very, very much looking forward to it. Madeline Miller says, with her trademark passion, wit, and fierce feminism, her thoughtful portraits will linger with you long after the book is finished. And you know what? If Madeline Miller says a Greek mythological retelling is good, best believe, <laughs> I'll be buying it. And so, like I said, I will not be reading all of these books, but I'm gonna give it a good go. I will try to read as many as I can. Um, and thank you for watching this video. I'm kind of, I feel like I'm wearing a bit of a weird outfit. I basically just chucked this fleece on because my white long sleeve top against the white bedding was a lot. <laughs> it was, it was, it just, I look like a floating head. So I just, I chucked this on. So sorry the outfit is a little bit weird, but it is giving book festival, I think. This, this outfit is screaming, I am at a book festival. So if you want all of the behind the scenes, you can head to my social media, um, my Instagram, my TikTok. I'll be making loads of content here, and then also I'll be making content over at the At Hay Festival uh, account as well. So check it out, and I will see you there. If any of you are coming to my talk, I am doing a panel discussion as part of my residency, but also I am interviewing Alice Oseman on Saturday, and I will also be interviewing a surprise mystery person who is gonna knock your socks off. So um, I can't talk about it yet, but you will see very, very soon and it's gonna be very very exciting so um stay tuned for that for sure keep an eye on my social media on saturday that's all i'm gonna say okay love you loads and i will see you very soon bye bye